Hey, good evening. I'm Mike Brooks. I'm Carol Larson. Here are some of the latest news stories from Two Works for You. If we get an inch to two inch buildup, we'll start plowing the roadways. And is that supposed to move out sometime early afternoon? Also work to break up salt today to get ready for winter weather. They have 47 plows and more than 10,000 tons of salt available. The street maintenance manager says the first crews will arrive at midnight and work 12 hour shifts to keep those roads safe. We spoke with PSO to find out if there are any plans to prevent power outages. They tell us they're not too concerned about snow causing any issues. Ice is usually the concern and they say that Tulsa is not expected to get enough to create any major outages. As long as we don't get ice, uh, we should be pretty good, but we're ready to respond to anything that, that may pop up. They say they work all year long to keep the system in good shape so they're ready for events like this one. And we do have a reminder to never bring your generator inside the house or even in the garage because that could be a deadly result. Leaving your generator in an enclosed space can cause carbon monoxide poisoning. It's also recommended to get a carbon monoxide detector for your home. It's also important to keep your four legged friends in mind. Here's an easy guideline. If you wouldn't leave your children unprotected in the cold weather, then you shouldn't do that with your pets either. First, make sure to insulate their dog and cat houses. Make sure they have enough food and water that's not frozen. And for those animals that are a little antsy to get outside and play, well, short, brisk walks are good for physical exercise. All right, we are tracking snow moving into the area. We see snow showers likely by 4 a.m. with temperatures right around freezing and below freezing during the mid morning hours. A little band of snow during the afternoon hours. So totals will range generally from two inches to seven inches across northeast Oklahoma with some locally higher amounts of snowfall in the metro and across parts of east Oklahoma. Big warm up for the weekend 40s and 50s. It'll feel much nicer come Saturday and Sunday. All right, thank you, Mike. For more news, go to our website. That's where you'll find a complete list of all the school closings for tomorrow. And don't forget, our Two Works Good Morning team will help you start your day at 4.30 a.m. They will have the latest on the school closings and, of course, the traffic conditions.